Hey guys, welcome to this video. We're gonna talk about vertical lines. So vertical lines, if we have a graph like this, a vertical line is a line that goes straight up and down. It's perfectly vertical. What's really interesting about this line is that if you imagine slope is rise over run, the rise here, we can choose two points. Our rise, we'll say this rise is goes up three. So for the run, we don't move it all to the right or to the left. So the run is zero and you can't divide by zero. So this is not defined. So the slope then is not defined. So this does not have a slope, this line. And we usually like to write lines as y equals mx plus b, but we can't write this as y equals mx plus b because m is not defined. We're not able to write it this way. We can't do y equals mx plus b. But there is still a way to write an equation for it, and we just say x equals whatever number it is. One, two, three, four, five. This would be x equals five right here. So this is how we write the equations for vertical lines, is it's x equals whatever the x-intercept is. Or another way you can think of it is this point right here is five, one. And this point right here was five, four. If I chose another point here, this would be five, negative four. And notice what all these points have in common. The X value is five. And look at that, X equals five. So all you're doing is saying X equals whatever the X is in all the points on that line. Or you can think of it as the X intercept. So this would be the official notes for vertical lines, simply X equals A where a is your x-intercept. So now let's solve a couple problems for these. Write the equation of the vertical line through the point 3, 7. There's a couple ways we can do this one. A quick shortcut would just be to recognize this is the x and this is the y. And so we can just say x equals 3. And we can check this answer and we get x equals 3. I can also show you the longer way to do it, which is kind of cool because it's a visualization for what's actually happening. If we plot the point 3, 7 right here, and we want to know the vertical line going through it. What's the equation of this blue line right here? That's what we're trying to solve for. So this point is 3, 7. And we can mark some other points if we wanted, 3, 3. And same thing I pointed out before. These all have the same x value. So really, we would then just say x equals 3, because that's what each of these points has in common on that line. So either way, whatever way you want to think of it, x equals 3 is the correct answer. There's multiple ways you can solve it. Let's try another one. Write the equation of the vertical line through the point 0, 0. Well, now, we've already talked about the shortcut here. We know that this is the x, this is the y, and vertical lines are always just x equals a, or whatever the x value is. So the answer to this one is going to be x equals 0. And we can check it, and we get x equals 0. Same thing, I'll show you the visualization of what's happening. We have the point zero, zero, and we want the vertical line going through that, which happens to be the y-axis. The equation of this line is x equals zero. All the points on this line would have zero for an x value. Etc. So that's how to do these types of problems. If you write an equation of a vertical line through a point. If you want to try more of these problems, I have this page on andymath.com. I'll include a link down below in the description. It has the notes we talked about. Here's the first two problems that we did, and there's two more problems that have answers. There's also related pages of more linear stuff you could practice. Feel free to check it out. Please like this video and subscribe to my channel. It really helps. Comment below if you have any other math questions. I'll try to get to them, and I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye.